Okay, let us give this a go. I am on the ADO NIT. I think that's how they pronounce it. Add on it, and it's the uh, snap stylus that looks, I guess, a little something like this. I guess this is pretty meta, huh? And so there's a button right about here, and I don't like that, so I'll try that again. Button right about here. Can't be a perfectionist in whiteboarding. You can't be a perfectionist in whiteboarding. Anyway, I'll give this a shot. And the a lot of the point here is to give up that inner feeling that you have of like digital perfection. So I came up in the Amiga era. Amiga computer from Commodore, awesome computer. But you had bit pic <laughs> pixel precision accurate control of what was going on on the screen. You had to be, you had to squeeze every byte out of this multimedia media capable yet very limited computer. And so you're not used to thinking of just using a thin, you know, pen point in digital and doing multiple strokes to try and get the idea across and then maybe adding crosshat shading just as you would on a normal paper media just wouldn't occur to you. And then this idea that there's this stylus that you're using that has capacitive screen accuracy, yet you're supposed to use it like a precise uh, pen tip. And somehow it's using Bluetooth, but I have really no idea whether Bluetooth plays a, into how this works because with Bluetooth turned off, it'll still work as a capacitive stylus. And it's not quite the rubber band Point that I can't stand in those iPhone styluses, but it's neither is it the sharp point of say the Note 7 or I was actually on the Note 5 and 3, the 3 and the 5. My daughter has my 3 now and I always try and get her into the same stuff, but um, uh, yeah, um, I couldn't stand Android, so I had to get off of it. And so, with that whole exploding Note 7 debacle, I had just recently, around that time, decided to go with the iPhone uh, 6SE, which is what I'm on right now. So I guess that belongs in here. I'm on the iPhone. And this really is a uh, demonstration of what I'm talking about. I would never have written something that inaccurate on the Note 5, which I was on previously. And so I'm uh, testing out this piece of software. The software I'm on is called Vittle, V-I-T-T-L-E. And the idea is that it's whiteboard casting, which people who follow me have seen me, I guess, try on and off. And there's no real great keyword around it. I don't think everyone agrees on what this stuff is called, but when you're doing what I'm doing, which is just the non-edited version of these whiteboard videos, uh, it's whiteboard casting, because you're really not going out of your way to um, edit and make it a more tolerable experience for your audience. Instead, you're working more like an instructor, but as I haven't done at any point through the video yet, demonstrated that you can zoom in and pan with two fingers for more years accuracy. And that is in no way a uh, political statement. Uh, it just felt like a funny thing to say. In no way do I believe that. Anyway, there's this erasing for even when it's not accurate enough. If you made a mistake, it takes some pra practice. A-C-C-U-R-A-C-Y? 
Is that, am I spelling that accurately? I don't know. I'm sure someone will comment in my video. And then you zoom out. And so you can make these uh, things that are sort of almost Prezi-like if you plan them out. Because you'll be able to zoom in, do something, zoom somewhere else and do something, and then zoom back for the big picture. And I really look forward to this. I can't believe that the software on the iPhone is consistently that much better than what's on Android. And my, I guess I was close to three years on Android. I hunted and I was on the ideal hardware platform for this. I mean, can you imagine the Note series before the thing blew up? Uh, quite literally. And then there's a headline that I saw him that the factory that made those batteries had a fire yeah in the ultimate irony um anyway i figure i'm going to give it a try again and lucky you to have to sit through and suffer through listening to this but i'm back on apple baby as soon as i thought i was out they pull me back in just like commodore it's like uh i'm a i'm a geek uh Technology is my passion. I love it the way people love sports and music and all kinds of other, you know, travel, all the big pastimes of life. I like my uh, getting a notebook on me all the time because in real life, I just almost never carried a notebook or kept a journal. Now, the software, the one piece, the one exception to the always iPhone advantage was sophistication of software. By the way, I could switch colors, you know, I could draw arrows, uh, and do all kinds of stuff, you know, uh, let me see, choose a different color here, I'll switch to red, and you know, if only this were as high resolution of a screen as the Note series, the Note 3 was awesome, and the Note uh, five is still awesome. I keep that around. Uh, Art Rage and all these things I do with Addy on it, they're, they're great. But now that I'm back uh, on Apple, I am going to fully benefit from the level of sophistication of software that they offer here. Let me switch to uh, erase and draw a line through the middle and choose, I don't know, I'll choose a blue. And you can actually, like, do this stuff. Can you imagine what I'm going to be able to do now that the uh, perfect storm of stuff is coming together and we just end up connecting the dots and doing these big picture diagrams? Oh, I'm going to love this. Thanks for joining me. Hope to draw to you again soon and don't forget to subscribe by the way this is mike levin and it's m-i-k-e-l-e-v dot i-n type that into your browser my name is my website you just got to remember where to put the dot in levin okay and there's not that many places it can go you remember oh it's the india domain and um yeah, so you can check out my articles that I write there when I do take the time to actually refine articles. My personal journal is actually turned off as far as being public-facing at the time. That was one of the outlets where people followed me from time to time. Um, but uh, the journaling goes on, and my daughter's into journaling now, and... She's also into this whiteboard casting, and someone actually thumbed down her video. That's interesting. I told her that tonight. I said, yeah, I'm not hiding any of this from you. And we have other videos that we've done whiteboard casting, like with her growing up. She barely even remembers it, but I think she's going to get a kick of hearing them played back and then comparing them to what she's doing lately and then see if I can get her to take this up as an art form. This let's switch colors this uh whiteboard casting thing that i'm just really excited to get into to me this is one of the first really exciting things that could in my heart start 
to take the place of the Amiga computer to which I was totally addicted. Thanks for joining me. Hope to draw to you again soon and don't forget to subscribe.